day, Wall Street had what is properly referred to as the crash of 87. If I'd said to you that night, 10 months from now, the economy will be stronger than it is tonight, employment will be at record highs, unemployment at a 14-year low, the trade deficit down, the budget deficit down, what would you have said to me? I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> so, uh, so, so is Wall Street just full of beans? What was that all about last Well, uh, there were a lot of things going on at the same time. You had this um, feuding with the Treasury Secretary and the finance ministers in the uh, press. You had interest rates under sharp upward pressure, questions about changing the merger and acquisition laws and so forth, a whole host of things that went on at the same time. I think what we've learned from October 19 is that it was a financial event more than an economic event, and we've learned that our economy is remarkably resilient. You've told us that long-term bonds, which yield now about 9.4%, long-term government bonds, may get up close to 10%. Would you buy them now? Well, I think that really depends on the time horizon of the investor. If you're confident of the view that rates are going to rise, then you may want to wait until they hit uh, the high nines before you buy. Conversely, if you are not that confident of that, go ahead and buy the long bond right now and work on your tennis game. And in 18 months, your tennis game will be better and you'll be glad you bought them because by that time, the long bond yield will be down substantially from where it is at the present. Well, speaking of net profits, are there any stocks you'd buy at this point? <laughs> well. Um, I think the key in terms of the equity markets is going to be sector selection and individual uh, stock selection. Um, we have a very uneven economy. Good sectors and weak sectors, uh, good industries and weak industries. It's going to be the key to pick out the, the winners. Well, let's talk sex. Uh, which sectors do you like? Well, the whole uh, Rust Belt uh, Renaissance, if you will, is one that we have uh, have liked for some time. That still looks uh, very good to Auto us. Auto stocks, does that mean? Pardon? Auto stocks, steel stocks? Well, I think any of the basic industries still look uh, really quite good. Um, I have always been a fan of uh, high technology. I think technology is always an area that you can find uh, uh, Big some computer stocks are dogs on Wall Street today. <clears throat> Would you well, buy them at these prices? Uh, just because they're dogs on Wall Street today doesn't mean they're going to be dogs uh, forever. That's, and What are they going to be next year? Well, I suspect they very well may do quite nicely by next year. What would you avoid? Well, I think what you want to avoid is uh, the consumer sector, which has really had a run before the last uh, year or two. That sector doesn't look to be very strong to us, and I don't think it's very uh, inspiring for some substantial period consumer has done his and her part by now. I think so. Thanks very much, Don Strassheim, for a fascinating overview of the economy. Thanks to our panelists. Hope you'll be back with us again next week when we will look beyond the campaign speeches to what's really likely to happen to health care after the 1988 election. My guest, David Lawson, is a top analyst of the health care industry, and he has some husky thoughts on who the winners and losers will be once the votes are counted. Don't miss his financial fever chart. Meanwhile, this has been Wall Street Week. I'm Louis Rukeyser. Good night. Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeyser has been brought to you by public television stations, by CSX, the company that puts things in motion, transportation, energy, properties, and technology, and by Prudential Bates Securities, the investment firm with rock-solid resources and market-wise thinking in the business of making money. For a printed transcript of this program, send $5 to Transcripts. Wall Street Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117. That's $5 to Transcripts. Wall Street Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117. Wall Street Week Transcripts.